Buongiorno and welcome to uh, part two of our visit to Agrigento. Today we are in uh, the museum here in Agrigento, the Archaeological Museum. This should definitely be part of your visit if you come here to Sicily to do both the Valley of the Temples and the museum. But I just wanted to show you a couple of my favorite things. Uh, I do love Greek pottery. Let's have a look. Greek pottery is really interesting because it uh, it's fun. <laughs> I think a lot of times we as uh, art humans in this day and age when we look back at ancient things we don't understand that people back then had parties <laughs> they had a sense of humor uh, and what I love about these the, the Greek pottery is it really shows how uh, frizzante people were in the past so this is a crater and you'll see a lot of these this was a um, vessel used for mixing wine also for chilling wine they could use it for that same reason and it was very popular to have parties where you would use this and you would mix water and wine together. You could also flavor it with honey or something like this. You could also decide if you wanted to uh, get your guests drunk or not. <laughs> but they always have fun party scenes on them or mythological scenes. Now this pottery over time, it started off that they did the terracotta background with the, the characters in black. So this is earlier when you see the, the orange uh, background and the black figures, that's usually going to be earlier. So this is the second half of the uh, 6th century BC. And then when they, they figure out a little bit more technical uh, ability, they realize, oh, that terracotta color would make nice skin. So they go the other direction and they make them like this. So you have orange figures with a black background. And now this is not really paint they would uh, basically burn the, the terracotta to get the black. So it was like a glaze that they would put on, but they would not put the glaze on in the places that they didn't want the, uh, that color. So it's not exactly the same as we do pottery today, but, uh, but look at this wonderful uh, parties. I, lo I love looking at the expressions on people's faces. I mean, it's really just like we are today. Uh, they also started making them for more like middle-class people with these big patterns because it was a lot cheaper and faster to produce something that was simple rather than these more expensive ones with uh, figures on them. So they also had other kinds of things, like I love this one here with the fish. This is one of my favorites. So this would be a fish platter, a little snack platter, and in the middle is a little hole where they would put a, a seasoning that was sort of like a fish sauce. So you could put your food on there and then dip the sauce in the middle. Very clever, we should have that today. And then, you can see here, this is somebody who is uh, having probably some wine, I would say. It looks like it's a party. But most of these things have uh, mythological uh, scenes. So I'm going to take you over to see my favorite mythological scene. We have amphora here for transporting wine or olive oil. And they find a lot of these here. Agrigento is an extremely ancient city. And they have so many different things here. And then the last the one I wanted to show you is here. This is... Perseus and Andromeda. Perseus, of course, falls in love with Andromeda. There he is here. He's falling in love with her. Look at that face. He's like, hey, how are you doing? And over here, Andromeda is like, not so great. <laughs> Come and save me. So as you know, Perseus goes and cuts off the head of Medusa to be able to save Andromeda. You know, humans don't change. So that's just one of the many things I just love seeing these funny little day daily life scenes. It really connects you with people of the past in a weird way. So that's one of the things I wanted to show you in this wonderful museum. But come with me. The other thing, just talking about daily life, if we were to have lived back in ancient Sicilian Greek times, are these votives. I love this because this is still something people do even today in Italy. These are all the same. Look at them. They're all the same. And that is because these are all different deities. Now, if you had been a person living back in Sicilian Greek times, so 5th century BC, let's say, uh, and you needed something, you would go to those beautiful temples I took you to earlier, and there'd be a stand there, and you could buy a figure. Look at, there's a foot, for example. I've hurt my foot. You could go and buy a little shape like this and go put it on the altar for the god, and hopefully your prayers would be answered. And look at, they were made on a proto-industrial scale. Look at that. One after another for certain gods. This looks like a fertility goddess, so probably wishing for an easy childbirth. 
you can see some of these smaller figures. This one's very funny. It's a, a tube that you can pour wine down to the gods uh, if you want to give a sacrifice. But the reason they're all the same like this is that they were, this was just something you did in your daily life. And connect this to, if you've been to Italy before, you go into churches and people bring what they call ex voto, which are like silver badges with legs or hearts or, or things like this. Uh, and they leave them there as a thank you. Here you can see the molds that they've found and what the molds are. There's the mold there and there's the face. So you can tell that they made these over and over again and sold them to the general public. So even today, if you are in Palermo, you can go to a shop and you can, let's say you broke your leg, you can go to a shop and you can buy a silver leg if your leg heals, you can take it to the church to thank uh, Christ, thank the, the saints for helping you, and you put it on the wall of the church. That happens today. And think about that some Italian Americans, let's say, for example, when they want to sell their home, they get a little statue, and I think it's St. Anthony, you guys can correct me, but they plant it upside down in their backyard to help sell their house. So the point is, we humans, we keep doing the same stuff. <laughs> we don't do original things. It's a really interesting thing that, I mean, some of the many things that we do in our daily lives originate from places that we've never been and we have no connection to, but you're more connected than you think. Last thing to show you real quickly. This is a beautiful museum. Uh, this is one of the giants from the Temple of Zeus that, you, that is in the Valley of the Temples. It's enormous. And they have a model down there you can see. And those little tiny figures at the top of the model right there, that's one of these. So this temple would have been one of the largest in the entire world ever built. And we have almost none of it because uh, it fell over and then they used all the rubble to build a jetty in the next town over in Porto Empedocle. But incredible, just the scale. And each of the faces is different. You see this one has a little bit of like an African look. Some of them are more Greek looking, and they think that maybe that represented the different people who uh, passed through here, the different um, territories or ethnicities. But this is it's just incredible. So let's see if there's anything else I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah, Bess. I love Bess, this guy. He's so funny. You can probably guess he's a little imp, kind of a uh, fertility uh, cultural god here. He was used as a planter. You could put little things into his head. And then the Medusa, who was, uh, you could put on the end of the beams of your house to warn against uh, the evil eye and bad luck. They still do that, you know? People today still have similar suspicions. So just a little quick hit of history here in the uh, Archaeological Museum of uh, Agrigento. There's so much more to see here. That's why we're spending a couple of days just really taking our time and soaking it up. So I'll have more pictures for you and videos later today. Um, but yeah, you'll have to join me here sometime. We'll see you later. Ciao, ciao.